Africa, also known as the Mother Continent, has played a pivotal role in global history and development. It is the world's oldest inhabited continent, having been home to humans and their ancestors for more than 5 million years. Africa's rich historical legacy makes it a repository of diverse cultures and ancient civilizations, as well as a cradle for humanity's evolution. The continent's vast and diverse landscapes, ranging from dense rainforests to expansive deserts, have shaped the evolution of distinct ecosystems and made significant contributions to global biodiversity. Scholars continue to debate the origin of the name Africa, with various theories proposed by historians and linguists. While there is no consensus, many scholars believe the name is derived from ancient Phoenician, Greek, and Roman languages. Among the significant terms is the Egyptian word afru Ika, which means motherland. This link to the concept of a motherland reflects Africa's deep historical and cultural significance, not only as a continent, but also as a pivotal force in shaping the course of human history. Africa, derived from the Greek word Afrik, meaning without cold, and the Latin word Africa, meaning sunny, is the world's second largest continent, bordered by the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, the Indian Ocean, and the Atlantic Ocean. The equator divides it almost evenly, emphasizing its unique geographical position. However, what truly distinguishes Africa is its unparalleled abundance of natural resources. The continent has an abundance of arable land, water sources, oil, natural gas, minerals, vast forests, and diverse wildlife. Africa's importance in the global landscape is highlighted by its significant share of the world's natural resources, both renewable and fossil. Africa holds approximately 30% of the world's mineral reserves, 8% of its natural gas reserves, and 12% of its oil reserves. The continent has the world's largest reserves of cobalt, diamonds, platinum, and uranium, as well as 40% of global gold and up to 90% of chromium. Furthermore, Africa controls 65% of the world's arable land and 10% of its internal renewable freshwater resources. However, managing these resources presents a significant challenge with unsustainable use, illegal activities, and environmental degradation reducing the potential benefits of these abundant natural treasures. Illicit financial flows, illegal mining, logging, wildlife trade, unregulated fishing, and environmental degradation cause an estimated annual loss of $195 billion in Africa's natural capital emphasizing the critical need for sustainable practices and conservation efforts. Africa's collective strength stems from its ability to unite and effectively leverage its abundant natural resources to drive a development agenda that leads to greater prosperity. The continent must prioritize results-oriented, climate-resilient, and sustainable approaches to future growth and resource extraction. These efforts are critical not only for Africa's own prosperity, but also for global stability and cooperation. Africa's favorable climate is a key factor that emphasizes its importance on the global stage. The continent's tropical wet conditions along the equator, Gulf of Guinea, and East Madagascar coast create an ideal environment for a variety of agricultural activities. With year-round temperatures averaging around 27 degrees Celsius and annual precipitation, ranging from 152 centimeters inland to 330 centimeters along the coasts. Africa's tropical regions support the cultivation of essential crops, such as plantains, pineapples, coffee, cocoa, and oil palms. Crops such as cassava, peanuts, peppers, okra, eggplant, cucumber, watermelon, millet, and sorghum thrive in the savanna conditions of eastern and southern Africa, where temperatures are cooler and precipitation varies. Even in the harsh desert conditions of northern Africa, such as the Sahara and Sahel, Africa's resilience is evident, with crops grown to withstand extreme temperatures ranging from 54 degrees Celsius on the hottest days to freezing on the coldest nights. Africa's climate and agricultural output are strategically important, reinforcing its role in global food security and economic stability. Africa's climatic diversity is further reflected in its arid regions, particularly in deserts, where annual precipitation does not exceed 25 centimeters, and some areas may go years without rain.
In these harsh conditions, important desert crops like date palms and cotton have evolved to survive. The Mediterranean climate along Africa's extreme northern and southern coasts features milder temperatures, dry summers, and moderately rainy winters. Crops that thrive in these areas include figs, olives, oranges, tomatoes, onions, and large vegetables like cabbage and cauliflower. Highland conditions, found in Africa's highest elevations such as the Ethiopian highlands and the Sahara, have significantly lower temperatures than the surrounding lowlands. Precipitation in these highland areas is determined by the mountain's orientation to moisture-bearing winds. These diverse climatic zones have a significant impact on Africa's agriculture, which is regarded as the continent's single most important economic activity. Agriculture, which employs two-thirds of the continent's working population and accounts for 20 to 60 percent of each country's GDP, is a pillar of African economic development. Key crops like alfalfa, potatoes, wheat, cocoa, and coffee are grown in a variety of climate zones, demonstrating African agriculture's adaptability and resilience to a wide range of environmental conditions. Furthermore, forestry emerges as an important economic activity, with forest products accounting for 6% of Africa's GDP, the highest share of any continent. The continent's abundant forest cover, particularly in Central and Western Africa, benefits the forestry sector, which contributes more than 60% of GDP in some areas. The export of high-quality woods such as mahogany and okumi strengthens Africa's economic position and resource contribution to the global market. The Congo Basin's lush rainforests, which include Cameroon, the Central African Republic, the Republic of the Congo, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Gabon, and Equatorial Guinea, are home to valuable woods such as mahogany and okuma. Gabon, for example, relies heavily on okuma, which accounts for 90% of all trees harvested in the country. These high-quality woods are highly sought after around the world, with major exports to countries such as Japan, Israel, and the EU. Mahogany and okuma are used in a variety of industries, including home construction, musical instrument manufacturing, and lightweight aircraft production. In Africa, there is a tension between the desire to develop its forests for maximum economic benefit and the imperative to conserve these vital natural landscapes in order to prevent overdevelopment and protect biodiversity. To address this delicate balance, the Central African Forests Commission oversees Africa's forestry sector and promotes sustainable rainforest product exploitation in the Congo Basin. One notable initiative is the creation of the Sangha Tri-National Landscape, a reserve spanning over 1 million hectares, 2.4 million acres, of rainforest in Cameroon, the Central African Republic, and the Republic of the Congo that aims to preserve the region's unique ecosystems. Africa's fishing industry is critical to the continent's economy, employing over 10 million people and producing $2.7 billion in exports each year. Africa's freshwater fisheries in the Great Lakes and Nile River, as well as marine fisheries along the coast, make a significant contribution to global fish production. West Africa, in particular, stands out as an economically important fishing region, producing 4.5 million tons of fish in 2000. Countries such as Namibia and South Africa are major players in the marine fish market, exporting the majority of their catch annually. Furthermore, Eastern African countries such as Eritrea, Djibouti, Somalia, and Kenya have well-developed fisheries in the Red Sea and Indian Ocean. The diversity of fish species, both large and small, benefits local livelihoods and contributes to global food security. Unlike marine fisheries, the catch from Africa's inland fisheries is primarily consumed on the continent, providing a vital source of protein to local populations. The Great Lakes, particularly Lake Victoria, support Africa's largest inland fisheries. Lake Victoria is the world's most productive freshwater fishery, producing more than 500,000 tons of fish valued at $600 million per year. The most valuable commercial fish in Lake Victoria are the Nile perch, which can weigh more than 45 kilograms, and the Nile tilapia. This substantial inland fishery not only benefits the local economies of the countries surrounding Lake Victoria, but it also plays an important role in meeting the African population's protein requirements.
Africa's abundant natural resources go beyond fisheries to include important metals and minerals, making it a major global producer. African countries export metals such as uranium, which is required for nuclear energy production, platinum, which is used in jewelry and other industrial applications, nickel, which is used in stainless steel, magnets, coins, and rechargeable batteries, bauxite, a primary aluminum ore, and cobalt, which is required for color pigments. In 2008, Africa accounted for 22% of global gold production, with South Africa accounting for nearly half of that total. Other major gold producers include Ghana, Guinea, Mali, and Tanzania. Furthermore, Africa dominates the global diamond market, accounting for 55% of all diamonds in 2008. Botswana, Angola, South Africa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Namibia are among Africa's largest diamond producers. Unfortunately, the diamond industry has also been involved in funding conflicts and civil wars in some African countries, prompting the establishment of the Kimberley Process Certification Scheme, KPCS, in 2002. The KPCS aims to certify diamonds from conflict-free mines and prevent diamond sales from funding wars. Countries that fail to meet KPCS requirements are barred from trading with much of the rest of the world. Africa's natural resources, particularly oil and gas, have had a significant impact on its economy and infrastructure. In 2007, Africa produced 12.5% of the world's total oil and 6.45% of its natural gas. Nigeria, Libya, Algeria, Egypt, and Angola are major players in Africa's oil industry, particularly in the exploration and production sectors. The search for oil resources has resulted in increased exploration activity, with several African countries hoping to become first-time oil producers. However, managing these resources frequently presents difficulties, such as poor governance and inefficient government regulation. Africa's built environment, which includes human-made structures and buildings, is inextricably linked to its thriving natural resource economy. Resource production and trade, including water, oil, and minerals, have a direct impact on major engineering projects in cities. Despite the engineering marvels found in Africa, such as Egypt's Aswan Dam, which regulates Nile flooding and generates a significant amount of electricity, infrastructure development on the continent is hampered by issues such as poor management and ineffective government regulation. Dryfontein Gold Mine in South Africa is one of the world's largest gold mines, with eight shafts that reach depths of up to 3,352 meters underground. However, the deepening of one shaft to 4,115 meters demonstrates the ongoing pursuit of Africa's vast mineral wealth, highlighting the critical role mining plays in the continent's economic landscape. Lagos, Manchuria, and Johannesburg, South Africa, are contrasting examples of Africa's uneven urban growth, with both cities facing challenges as their economies expand rapidly. Lagos, Africa's second most populous city, is expanding at an astonishing rate, 10 times faster than major U.S. cities. It is on track to become one of the world's largest megacities by 2015, thanks to its status as Nigeria's commercial and industrial hub. Lagos, located on the oil-rich Gulf of Guinea and adjacent to the Niger Delta, is an important oil extraction, refining, and export hub. However, the city's growth has been uncontrolled, resulting in a sprawling and chaotic urban landscape characterized by overcrowded residential areas and the rapid expansion of slum communities. This unchecked growth has put a strain on essential services, resulting in water shortages, poor sanitation, and heavy traffic. Lagos exemplifies the challenges that urban developers and government bodies face in keeping up with the city's rapid growth. Johannesburg, on the other hand, is South Africa's largest city and the world's largest city without a river, lake, or coastline. The city's development has historically been linked to the gold and diamond industries found in its mineral-rich mountain range. While mining operations are gradually losing importance, Johannesburg remains a critical financial hub for the continent, housing Africa's largest stock exchange, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, JSE. The wealth generated by mining companies, manufacturing industries, and the JSE establishes Johannesburg as Africa's economic heart.
Despite its established economic infrastructure, Johannesburg continues to face socioeconomic challenges associated with rapid urbanization, such as housing disparities and social inequalities. These examples highlight the complexities and disparities that define Africa's urbanization patterns and economic development. The widespread use of electronics, particularly smartphones, has increased demand for various minerals, affecting the economies of several African countries. Smartphones and other electronic devices are made up of a variety of minerals, including aluminum and zinc. Global smartphone sales reached 1.5 billion units in 2023, indicating an increased reliance on these devices. As of 2021, approximately 78% of the world's population owned a smartphone. Mobile phone manufacturing requires the use of mined and semi-processed materials, with lithium and cobalt being critical components for battery production. Notably, the Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC, accounted for approximately 63% of global cobalt production in 2021. Tantalum, another essential metal in electronic equipment, is primarily sourced from the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Rwanda, which together account for half of global tantalum production. The interconnectedness of the global electronics industry with African mineral resources emphasizes the continent's importance in the supply chain for critical raw materials. Petroleum and coal are abundant in 22 of Africa's 54 countries, with Nigeria, Angola, and Algeria producing the most. Eleven countries focus on metals such as gold, iron, titanium, zinc, and copper, with Ghana producing the most gold, followed by South Africa and Mali. Diamonds, gypsum, salt, sulfur, and phosphates are important commodities for 13 African countries, with the Democratic Republic of the Congo producing the most industrial diamonds. The economic importance of mineral resources in Africa is clear, with South Africa generating the most revenue, $125 billion per year, followed by Nigeria, Algeria, Angola, and Libya. These top five countries account for more than two-thirds of the continent's mineral wealth, highlighting Africa's central role in the global mineral market. However, issues such as uneven distribution, resource management, and environmental concerns remain, necessitating sustainable and responsible practices in the extraction and use of these valuable resources. Towards Sustainable Development in Africa The GE06 Regional Assessment for Africa points out that the environment is deteriorating faster than previously thought, emphasizing that governments must act faster to reverse the war's trends. The report emphasizes the critical importance of Africa's natural capital for the continent's economic growth, as well as the importance of sustainable management. However, it raises concerns about the unsustainable exploitation of Africa's abundant natural resources, which is exacerbated by a rapidly growing population, as well as the lack of regulatory measures to prevent abuse and overexploitation. The consequences of these unsustainable practices are already visible in the form of environmental disasters that pose serious threats such as food shortages, water scarcity, diseases, conflicts, migration, and rising poverty. If left unaddressed, these issues could destabilize economies across the continent. The United Nations Environment Program UNEP, Africa Office assists African governments in translating policy decisions and statements about natural resources into practical actions and innovative solutions at the regional, national, and local levels. The goal is to benefit communities by promoting wealth and job creation, revenue generation, food security, social equity, and a healthy environment. Urgent action is required to address issues concerning management and the economic and environmental consequences of the sustainable use of these natural resources. By addressing these challenges, Africa can maximize the economic and social benefits of its natural wealth, ensuring a more sustainable and prosperous future for its people. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.